woman tells us a DeKalb County police officer kicked her when she was almost nine months pregnant. And now we learn that officer is under investigation. Investigative reporter Jody Fleischer is in DeKalb County with how this happened and questions about how the department handled it. Justin, Raymond Dozier told me she wasn't even involved in the original call for police. It was a child custody issue involving her brother. But she was there trying to help calm him down. And when officers tased him, she started crying. After all, she was nearly nine months pregnant. Four-month-old Levi is now a happy, healthy little boy. But his parents worried that wouldn't be the case because of what happened two weeks before he was born. It was scary. I was shocked. Raven Dozier was at her grandmother's house watching her brother argue with police. She was crying and questioning why they tased him. Suddenly, she was on the ground. He really just didn't want me asking him any questions. When I did question him, that's when he kicked me. A kick so hard it bruised Dozier's stomach. She had an emergency C-section two weeks later when doctors realized Levi had defecated in the womb. In his report, Officer Jared Wheeler described it as a front push kick to the abdomen, as he was taught to do at the academy. It's supposed to be used, you know, for forcing entry into a, you know, into a door or something like that. What kind of a human being kicks a pregnant woman? Dozier's attorney was even more shocked when he saw what happened with her complaint to the DeKalb Police Department. No investigation at all. And five supervisors, including internal affairs, said Wheeler's actions met policy. They're showing that there is an ongoing pattern and practice of attempting to clear officers of clearly illegal, unconstitutional, and improper conduct. Wheeler's report says Dozier was coming toward him in an aggressive manner, that it was very dark and she had a large shirt and he couldn't tell she was pregnant. But jail workers noticed right away and refused to take her on an obstruction charge, which prosecutors have now dropped. I believe that something should be done. Men go to jail every day for hitting women and it's not okay just because he's a police officer. A DeKalb police spokesperson didn't want to comment on this incident. I did file an open records request here at the department on Officer Wheeler and found he has two prior use of force complaints filed within the last year. Now tonight at 6, we'll dig into those and what they have in common with this case. Reporting live in DeKalb County, Jody Fleischer, Channel 2 Action News.